Hı. 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 I feel so excited today. Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Josephine Eyang, a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, you're highly welcome to Fix It with Josie. I make educative and entertaining content of videos on parenting, relationship, marriage, counseling, lifestyle, vlogs, and more. In today's video, I want us to be talking about why love is not enough in parenting our kids. So it's a parenting video, guys. Stay tuned and watch to the end. <laughs> I grew up believing that the best gift a father and a mother can give to their children is unconditional love and good education. But recently I discovered that unconditional love and good education are just not enough. I see that the best gift parents can give to their children is their very own happiness. Yes, yeah, so it is very important for parents to look into their emotional lives and examine the stress in there. This is something parents often don't pay attention to. I think it is something that parents should, should, should look into and it is going to help their children so very much. So I am saying this out of experience. I am a young mom, I am a young parent of two ages seven and one year eight months and sometime last year i had this experience that it was like an eye opener to me and so i think i should share this with you all and um, it can help it can be of help to someone out there sometime last year i planned i was preparing to take my children to boya to visit my grandmom and i just decided to buy some stuffs like to prepare them for boya since boya is cold as compared to dwala i went got some shoes and some warm clothing for them then when i got home in my usual style or should i say how i always do it i took some pictures and short videos of the, them trying on the, the things i bought to send to hobby since he's walking away from us so while i sent these videos and pictures to him his reaction got me just got me upset his reaction got me upset like he when he saw the pictures and the videos he he said in one of the pictures he highlighted and said what kind of old shoes old local shoes yeah those were his words what old local shoes are those for my kids and i got really it didn't go well with me i was i was sad because to me i had put in my best it was a sacrifice for me because i had my own things to buy but i decided to prioritize these children so i thought he was going to appreciate it actually i don't know why he said that. i didn't know whether he was really serious about it but my mood changed instantly like when i read the message from him i was not fine i didn't take it well so i i it it, it was obvious that i was not happy so my six year old six years old son who is now seven came walk, walked up to me he was not there he walked up to me and noticed that I was not looking happy then he asked mommy what is it are you okay I just explained I just told him that he said those things are old and local so we go and gather all of them and bring I'm taking them back to the guy I bought them from and he started crying <laughs> so he started crying and said is that this is that these shoes that are old and local you know how children so he was not happy that I said I was going to return those those uh, clothes and shoes back and then we we try we actually traveled to to boya then like a week or two while in boya i still got them some stuffs so i i called them to try them on why he came he was excited and <laughs> he was he was really excited about it then what shocked me was the fact that he said that let me not show let's not show daddy because very soon he will say that they are old and local so i felt bad like there was a better way I, I, feel, I felt like there was a better way I could handle that that whole scenario without bringing in this little child because children children 
like we, we don't look at them like they are senseless I, I cannot imagine that he will still have that he will keep that in his head and if such is not handled properly that child will grow with a kind of mentality this this whole scenario taught me one big lesson which is the more stressed depressed and distracted parents are it has a very big role in interfering with their children's healthy brain development unless they get the proper help unless they get proper support which most children from this part of the world from africa don't have so it is very important for parents to try as much as possible to handle these situations to handle some of these stressful moments without bringing in the kids because it interferes a lot with their development so i think the right conditions for our children to grow healthy is in the presence of non-stressed non-depressed emotionally available stable environments i know it is almost impossible for us to go through life without facing this stress and moments like this but when these times come we should try as much as possible to manage it without bringing these children in because they are very sensitive we may not pay attention to it but it has a big role it affects them in the long run it affects their development so it is something for parents to take note of it's something for parents not to neglect in the first few years of development, the child's happiness, the child's comfort should be our priority, should be our primary goal. We should try as much as possible to create an environment where the child feels loved, feels happy, feels safe because this has a very big role to play. If in the first few years we miss this, then it is going to take us forever to try to fix it. So parents should not neglect this. Whatever life throws at us, in this in this journey of parenting the best we can do is to create an environment where the child feels safe and secure and of course connected this is very important children see their parents as their role model they see them as their their I don't know how I can call it, but then everything you do, they try to imitate. It has a direct effect on them. So we should try as much as possible to help these children go healthy. When children are raised in the right conditions, where they feel loved, where they feel connected to their parents or their immediate caregivers, where they feel safe, it gets them so prepared, even from that early stage, to face life. It gets them prepared to face what life will throw back at them when they grow old so it is very important for us parents to take that into consideration when this depression stress anxiety hits parents it is good for parents to try as much as they can to address it to look for solutions to it if possible get help if you need to so that it doesn't affect these children the way it does in the long run so please parents if you love your parents, if you love your children so much, the best you can do for them is to grow them in a safe environment. Is to try as much as possible to deal with those moments without letting them in. Because it will be difficult for you to wipe off the memory from them when they get dragged into all of this. When I reflect on all this, when I think about it, I can only liken a child's development to a seed planted in the ground. It must have favorable conditions to enable it to grow properly. There must be sunlight, there must be water, there must be good soil, the manure and everything must be taken into consideration. So we must try as much as possible to see that these children get the right environment, the right conditions so that we will not regret being parents to them. If we want to see our parents, if we want to see our children grow to become good parents in future, if we want to see our children grow to become responsible people tomorrow, we have to start from this early stage. I know no one is ever taught to become a parent. Parents are like kids. We are all like kids in adult clothing. We learn in the journey of parenting. So we should not just be reluctant. We should not neglect it. We should try to be conscious of our actions, especially when it comes to our kids. If you have watched up to this end and you find this video interesting, please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not subscribed yet though please subscribe to this channel 
and what else should i say hit the notification bell so you can get notified when i get when i upload a new video till next time i remain your girl bye bye <laughs>